This isn't my usual type of video, so apologies in advance for any issues with the recording or editing. Uh, this video will be a little long-winded, however this is so I can highlight these issues as clearly as I possibly can. All of the following clips, besides two I think, are from about five hours of gameplay just after the mastery update. So a lot of the clips are from those challenges specifically. Some clips are before I knew I had to kill targets a certain way, so the air assassination ones are a clear example of this. Lastly, a number of the clips are with HDR on, so if the colours look oversaturated or a bit weird, that's the reason why. So just to get a baseline for what detection speed should look like, I'll be showcasing a few clips from several different games. In older games in this series, detection speeds were for the most part on the slower end, and as you can see in this example for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I have time to react. The following clips are also under sort of similar scenarios, so guard states, uh, guard ranges, and that type of thing. Moving on to Assassin's Creed 3, which itself has a number of AI bugs, the same idea plays out here. When I initially get detected, I have time to react and plan my next move. Next is Assassin's Creed Unity. Again, I intentionally get detected, but like the previous games, I have time to react and think about what I'm going to do next. Lastly for the Assassin's Creed games is Assassin's Creed Origins. Once again, like the previous clips, I have time to react and think about my next move. And this game is probably the closest to what Valhalla's detection system should look like. Just to use some other stealth games for comparison, here's a similar scenario in Hitman 3. This is on mass difficulty, so detection speeds are at their highest. It's also in Colorado in the suit, while also brandishing a gun, so the highest levels of hostility available in that game. Lastly, this clip is from Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Like Hitman, this is on the highest difficulty for detection speeds, and vertical detection is also maxed out as well. Both of these are issues that I highlight later for Valhalla. These games I'm using for comparisons are miles ahead of Valhalla and mostly used because I've been playing them a lot recently. However, they are far from perfect. Now under similar circumstances to the previous clips, the distance to guards, guard state, general alert levels, and in a restricted area, here's an example for Valhalla. While this example is at its worst and definitely cherry picked, as you'll come to see this stuff happens a lot. This is also at the lowest alert level for the river as you can see in the top left of the following screenshot. Now moving into the clips that I haven't scripted, this is another example of getting instantly detected from absolutely miles away, and this is after I've killed a guard which I don't think affected it because the guard can't see the body. In this clip the guard is miles above me and also probably at max range as well, so this shouldn't happen at all. In this clip, the guard is, again, at max range and also sees me for probably a split second. Slight detection is completely fine in this scenario, but getting fully detected and initiating combat is absolutely absurd. This clip I recorded just the other day, so this is one of the newest clips, and I also posted it on Twitter, so this is on the current update that is live for the game. And yeah, as you can see, it happens once again. This is this clip is an issue of 
The view cone being absurd for when I initially kill this guy, and also instant detection from a guard from miles away. In this one, I initially trigger SSI, so the social status indicator, to indicate that a guard is looking at me, which is completely fine, but this changes the guard's state, so the next time that I briefly enter his line of sight, I instantly initiate combat, and that shouldn't happen. This is another clip where I enter the guard's line of sight for only a brief second. It triggering SSI would be completely fine, but initiating full combat at that range is absolutely absurd. This is also a clip from when I was doing my stealth video for the needle, and as you can see I instantly get detected despite being above the NPC and also being out of LOS. Here I hit the guard with a poison arrow and move completely out of the way by the time he turns around, but despite this I get instantly detected and yeah, the clip speaks for itself. This one's one of the more egregious ones. In this clip, similar to the previous one, I hit the guard with a poison arrow from what I would consider to be beyond max range for LOS. And yeah, I get instantly detected despite also being back inside cover at that point by the time he'd turn around, let alone the fact that he wouldn't exactly know where I'd shot that arrow from. This clip, I'm still unsure how I was actually detected, despite being behind cover and no LOS whatsoever. As you can see, I get detected by the two guards that I initially poisoned, despite their being cover completely in the way. Here, again, like some previous clips, this is when I hit a guard with an arrow, and despite it being twice the max range, uh, I get detected instantly, and yeah, that clip is one of the worst ones. Now moving on to a different issue in the game where a guard will see you despite you being high above them. As the guard sees the dead body, his AI bugs out essentially and causes me to get detected despite being above him. In previous games and also in this clip here, this is what should happen where if you're above an enemy, you sort of have almost like an invisible layer above them. Again, this is another clip of that happening as well. The guard is also hidden in this clip as well. With this one, the guard is actually in a normal state, so getting instantly detected at this height is kind of weird. This is what happens when guards are changed states and are in an alert state. They instantly detect you despite being miles above them. Moving on to the axe throw, causing instant detection or the double kill, as some people usually refer to it. In this clip, while yes, I stand up in front of some guards, getting instantly detected at that range is kind of ridiculous, especially considering they don't know exactly what I'm doing at that range. In this clip, similar to the last one, I get instantly detected despite it being miles away, and... This clip kind of speaks for itself. Anyone that says that this game has perfect or fine AI detection or anything like that, just look at this clip and tell me that that's fine, because it's just not. Similar to the last clip, this, yeah, this one speaks for itself. This is also before I realized that you had to air assassinate all of the targets, so that's why I'm throwing axes at them constantly. In the same vein as the last two clips, this one is probably the worst because the guard doesn't even turn around, he just instantly detects me, as you can see as he pulls his weapons out just before the axe actually hits him. For the next couple of clips, this is looking at broken view cones. This seems to be tied to when a guard is looking or doing something, so bent over the well as you can see with this guard, or picking something up or doing something else. It seems to make their view cones infinitely worse than they already are. Which, as you can see in this clip, the guard isn't really doing much, but he can still detect me despite me not being in front of him or anything like that.
this clip is kind of hard to explain, but essentially when a guard instantly detects me here, despite me not actually looking at him, his alert state gets propagated to basically everyone else in the fort. This is probably one of the worst examples I've ever seen of this, but this happens all too often. With the release of Wrath of the Druids, they added a new smoke bomb ability, which is great for stealth, but it also just straight up doesn't work sometimes, and guards will see through smoke despite, yeah, being affected by the effects of smoke and not being able to see you. In these last couple of clips, I'm more 50-50 on whether or not I should be detected, although I still think it's slightly unfair. So this first clip, I hit a guard with a sleep arrow, and the guard next to him instantly detects me at max range. I'm, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure about that clip, but I don't think I should have been detected. And in this clip, I kill a guard, and I'm seen for a brief second, but this is also at max range, and the weather may or may not have an impact on this. As I said, I'm more 50-50 on this one. A guard sees me kill someone, but I don't think I should have been instantly detected at that range. In this couple of clips, the status effect of a guard being slept means that it overrides the person that I actually want to assassinate, which is the guard standing up next to him. You can even see in this slow motion that I'm aimed at the guard, and I'm also pressing R1 to assassinate that guard, but it overrides it and kills the sleeping enemy. In this one, this one's a bit more of a weird one, but both of them are slept, and I'm trying to use Eagle Vision, but the game really wants me to stomp their heads in. It's, yeah... It's kind of weird. And finally, just to showcase that I'm not being overly mean about this game, here's a couple of examples when the game works as it should, or as intended. Stages of detection actually occur, guards investigate properly and don't cause instant detection and combat. And yeah, it just works. Apologies for the slight PS4 recording issue skip there, but yeah, the guard investigates it properly, I'm not instantly detected at max range, view cones don't cause issues, and guard's alert status is not propagating to the entire fort. That is essentially what Valhalla's stealth system should look like when it works as intended, and sadly that happens very rarely, or a lot rarer than most people seem to think. I can only think of a probably a handful of times that the game has actually worked like this. Most of the time it works, as you've seen in this video. Instant detection and issues galore with the stealth detection and guard states and stuff like that. This isn't quite everything wrong with Valhalla's stealth system. I don't have footage for everything and some of the clips just weren't good enough. Plus I hit the clip limit for this video, so yeah. However, some of the other issues that I didn't go over in this video, but I can talk about it a little bit here. Uh, enemies following you despite having no line of sight of you after previously detecting you. Bushes not working and not concealing you properly. Whistling not working at all or not as intended. Instant detection from a dead body in a distressed area despite being cloaked and nowhere near the body. Runes not affecting detection speeds or anything like that. Guards line of sight not being linked to their animations, so head turns are not linked to where they're actually looking. Sometimes stealth assassinations just start the animation and then suddenly stop causing instant detection. Guards seeing through geometry or through walls or scenery, whatever. And finally, the QTE not appearing for advanced assassinations if you've used advanced assassinate too many times in a row just prior to that assassination. This one might be a last gen or PS4 specific issue, but I thought I'd highlight it anyway. And if you'd like some more evidence of how broken this game is, I'll leave a link in the description for an excellent video that does a great job of highlighting the current issues with stealth in Valhalla. If anyone from Ubisoft somehow watches this video, then I just want to say this. I want to love this game, truly. However, the current state of stealth, along with the science regarding the issues that currently plague it, it's kind of disheartening to say the least. I just want to love your game, goddammit.
Maybe it's a little bit naive to think, but too much care and attention was put into this game for me to believe that the people behind this game current think that the current state of stealth in Valhalla is anything but unacceptable. After finally reintroducing social stealth and actually marketing it, it would be such a shame if the current state of stealth is used as an excuse to cut back stealth elements, as I'm sure they have all the data for that type of thing. There's not even talking about the actual use that social stealth gets in the main game, which is underused to say the least. I hope this video showcased the state of stealth in this game adequately. There's certainly more that can be shown and discussed, so any questions feel free to ask away in the comments section below. The game still has core issues for me as a long term fan, such as the parkour system being a shadow of its former self, but that's a discussion for another video. I just hope some good can come from this video, if not then at least I tried. And that's that, apologies if the video is a little bit off, whether that be the editing or my voiceover. As I said at the beginning, this isn't my usual type of video and I also hate public speaking. I've also never had to write a script for anything, so that was certainly a different experience. The anxiety I felt in making this video has also been a bit of a hurdle for me. I've rambled on for way too long now, so like, subscribe, share, and thank you for watching.